What's going on, Internet? Scott here. I am at the heart of Silicon Valley, the epicenter of the tech world for Fanime. And I brought Max Scoville from Red 3 Games, who knows an awful lot about anime. Well, hey, now, I don't know that much about anime. I mean, I watch it sometimes, occasionally, like, you know, on the weekends, or maybe with my friends are watching or whatever. But, it, you know, Fanime isn't just anime. I'm seeing a lot of Adventure Time. I'm seeing some, some of the Valve Team Fortress guys. There's, like, the one guy who bought Army of Two. Uh, you know, hey, there's the... Uh, the Ice, the Ice King. King. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go inside and see what we can find, and maybe he can turn me into some sort of anime fan. I have no idea. I don't. I don't. Oh. You're gonna be a regular weeaboo by the time the day is over. I don't even know what that is. But let's go find out what that means. So I don't really understand what I'm actually looking at. What's going on? There's a bunch of people hanging out, dressed up as their favorite pop culture characters. But why are they dressed up like their favorite pop culture characters? I, d I don't understand the theme. I haven't seen I haven't seen much of a theme yet. It's no theme. It's just you know it's having fun. It's dressing up as the characters you like. You know, She Hulk. Nobody likes She Hulk. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, so where are we now, Max? So it's an anime convention. Well, I know, I know, I got that by walking in here. But where are we now uh, exactly? It appears to be some sort of cavern of merchandise and collectibles. See, they got some wall scrolls up there. You what can are, get some. Uh, what are the wall scrolls for? Well, they're like posters, but they're made out of fabric, so that you can hang them up more easily. And they're. What are the pillows that they're selling with the uh, naked oh, girls? On oh, them? oh my. Uh, those are. Uh, well, they're, they're like. They're like girlfriend pillows, so you okay, like. Okay, what are they used for? Is what I'm getting. At. I mean, you know, they could like you could like spoon with them, or you know, like you could kind of grind up against. I guess you could grind up against them if you're into that sort of thing. But you know, I mean, it's a lot of people just use them as regular pillows to sleep on. I think. You think they'll let me grind up against one of these uh, Fanime pillows? I don't know. You gotta ask that guy. <laughs> what is? Why? Okay, explain to me what this is. So that's a girl who has um, World War II airplanes for legs. Why? Because it's awesome. Why the. F not. Aww. What? Little sleepy Eevee. It's my favorite Pokemon. Eevee. The only Eevee I know is from uh, Out of This World, and she would press her fingers together to freeze time. I don't gotcha. understand that reference. Hey, look, it's more yeah. Eevee. I've had a rough day today, Ray. It's a really, really tough day. So, first of all, I went to work, which, as you know, is terrible. And then, once I was at work, there was a special 15-minute meeting. And you know what 15-minute meetings mean, right? What does that mean? Well, Ray, looks like we're, uh, we're no longer a two-income home. I no longer have a job, Ray. Oh, I'll come for you at home. Oh, my God. What? I actually have a smaller one of these. I have, like, one about three inches high. I have a larger one, and it's a human woman who lives <laughs> in my apartment. Fair enough. Max, what did you find? Max, what did you find? You like ran over here. It was like a homing beacon for you when you ran over here. Well, it's, it's Gundam models. It's, uh, you know, Gundam. No, I don't no. know Gundam. What's Gundam? So I'd say it's sort of like, well, one of the most successful uh, robot anime series. It's been around since the 70s, and it spawned these very popular uh, injection molded plastic kits, which you assemble and then they're then posable. And you get kind of your, uh, your sort of more basic end stuff that's, you get the high grade and it's pretty standard, you know, like 20 bucks will get you a kit and you build it. And then you get to the really big stuff, like that big blue box over there, it's like 240 bucks. That's a perfect grade. There's like a million parts to it. It's all the knuckles move. It, like, it's got pistons and lights up and stuff. You got the master grades right here, which are, you know, they'll build a robot about, about that tall that you can you know, pose it. I've known you for years and I've never seen this side of you before. Yeah, I wrote my, I wrote my senior project in high school about Gundams, actually. You did not, did I you? I did, yeah. I got a question. Do you have any pillows with Gundams on them? Because I want to cu cuddle up with a Gundam. There's a whole Universal Century, which is basically like, the idea is the original Gundam series is everybody moves to space colonies, you know, and then they have these, these Gundam robots, they're made of Gundamium alloy, and you know, and, and then, uh, and then there's a, 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 a si Wake up, I'm telling you history okay. of the right, Universal right, Century. Right, keep going. And then there's like a, a, a revolutionary war where the colonies want to be independent from Earth, but it's like, wake, wake up. Get, get up. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm listening. And so the people so, who are raised in space are called new types because they've basically grown up in, you know, in zero gravity and they're, yeah. sort, of like, they're sort of like kids who grow up with the internet except instead of the internet it's just big robots and in space. How do you have a girlfriend? I have no idea. <laughs> Goodbye, Max. We're no longer friends. 
Oh, look at this boob pillows. All right. Now we're talking, huh? Hmm. You know, that lady was talking about emotional support from the pillows, but what about back support? Because, I mean, I think these are, you know, yeah. they really need some good, like, lumbar <laughs> support, you know? Back support, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they have wigs, too. Oh, this is perfect for me because I'm losing my hair. Oh, here it comes. I look a little bit like the guy from Warrant. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, I'm so elegant. Oh, do I look pretty now, Internet? Do I look pretty now? They're always talking about how elegant Annie is and how great she is, how good her hair is. Well, guess what? I have it now, too. So what are you going to say to that? Let's try another one. What do you think of this look, Max? Would you, would you date me? Oh yeah. Yeah. I wish they made pillows that look like you. Maybe they will. Get on it, internet. Make a pillow that looks like me. Oh. Magical. Pretend to, magical girl Scott Bromley. Pretend I'm your I'm your comfort pillow. Hold on. I'll I'll, I'll assume the pose. Yeah. Reminder attendees, you can get your official 2013 There you go. There there's the pose. There all right. You go. Tell me all your troubles. I don't have a pillow with you on it, you beautiful lady. Ah. You, you keep on saying weeaboo. What is that? Weeaboo is a is a slur for people who are into. Is that like is that like the fanime N word? <laughs> All right, so the one thing that I've been noticing the whole time we've been here is there are a lot of people in costume. Yeah, cosplay is very big at conventions. Not just anime conventions, but it's kind of spread out. But that, that did start, you know, around anime culture. And before we came here, you told me that everyone here is probably going to be dressed up as their favorite, you know, video game character, or anime character, or cartoon character. Or just a favorite thing. They just dress up as things that they like. Right, right. And so I came prepared. I brought the only costume I have, which happens to be my favorite cartoon character, so I can blend into the crowd a little that's, bit. That's good. They'll probably accept you more if you look like something that they understand and that they respect. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go change right now. Max, you brought one as well. I did. I did. I'm very, I'm very excited to get into costume. All right. So let's go change and we'll be back in one second. Hey. Um... Scott. Yeah. Okay, Come I'm on. coming. I'm coming. What do you think? I think I look good. I think I, I think this is the perfect costume. Where are you going? What's the matter, Max? I'm just dressed as my favorite cartoon character, one of the California Raisins. You look like one of the California Highway murderers who cuts up torsos in storage units. Yeah, it's on the grapevine on the I-5. Yeah, I guess that. I guess there's that. Yeah, you're just giving off a very Central Valley vibe right now. It's this is legitimately one of the most unsettling cosplay displays I've ever seen in my life. You're packing up away from me. I'm getting closer to you because you just keep. There's What's a the smell coming off of it. There's stains the around the the mouth holes. You've got Hannibal. Yeah, that's how that's how raisins uh, drink. What are you talking? What? Raisins don't drink at all. They're dehydrated grapes. This they drink is wine. So, oh, this is the worst. I'm gonna go talk to people now. Let's go, Max. Aren't you gonna ask about my costume? No, because you're Tumblr.com. I get it. I get the joke. It's too obvious. Can you throw your shield? I cannot. How come? Uh, it's plastic. It's pretty oh. shitty, but. Yeah. What do you think of this costume? Oh, that's awesome. Do you understand the reference? Yeah. Is it too dated? <laughs> That wasn't a pun, he was actually asking a real question. Oh god, that was an accidental raisin joke. God damn it. You suck at this, Max. Probably made says in made, China? In China. Made, in made in China. Made in China! Get out of here! Get out of here, you, get out, get out out of here. you imposter! You imposter! It's supposed to be made out of vibranium. Made in, made in China. It's a great, it's a good, uh, it's a good effort on a Chewbacca costume. It's, uh, what, uh, is, are you... What is this costume? All right, so what are you what are you wearing, and, and who are you supposed to be? Um, so I'm cosplaying Masquerade Armor from Guild Wars 2. It's an armor set from the video game. Oh, how long did it take to make this costume? About a year on and off, um, but I'm actually a college student, so I have no time, so it probably would have gone a little bit faster otherwise. You clearly have some time. Why are you carrying around a jar of urine? You're dressed up as one of those Borderlands 2 DLCs. I am. I am Captain Scarlet from uh, Captain Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty, specifically. Let's see this hook here. Oh, sure. Right here. Oh my god, what? How much How much time did you put into this? Oh gosh, uh, well my cosplay partner made this one. She, uh, this is like, jeez, how long did it take, Beth? How long did it take you to make this? About a month to make. 
lots of trial and error, but it's like uh, PVC pipe, wood, epoxy sculpt, wire, <laughs> stuff like that. And, and comparatively, how much time have you spent playing Borderlands? Borderlands, considerably more time. <laughs> this guy's gonna drink his own pee. <laughs> What's it taste like? Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. What are you What are you dressed up as? I am Perona from One Piece. Oh man, I'm really suck at recognizing One Piece characters. What is One Piece? A show. <laughs> I'm serious. What's One Piece? Um, I don't know what you really mean by that. Are you that. scared of the raisin? I'm not gonna bite you. This is a popular cartoon character from the California. He's just a grape that they left outside until it shriveled up and could play the saxophone. Everyone loves the California raisin. Like Motown? I'm so I'm really sorry that I asked you to. You're clearly really uncomfortable with the raisin. I'm not gonna touch you. No, it's okay. He looks like a like a Bill Cosby ghost. No, no, I'm Bill Cosby. Oh, good lord. How you doing? You have a lovely costume. I hope you're enjoying the show. I have a question. Stop scaring her. What is one piece? It's about what? pirates, you already asked this. I can't hear it, not here. Raisins do not have ears. I'm a thousand years old. I'm I'm done with all of you. Jeremy Renner. Yeah. From from, from the, born, the movie the from born, the movie whatever. National Lampoon Senior Trip. Is he in that? Yes. My God. How are you doing, Jeremy Renner? I am doing great. How are you? I'm doing good. What's it like to be an Academy Award nominated actor? He was up for an Academy Award, really? For National Lampoon Senior Trip. What is Oh, he broke the fourth wall. This costume is no Chewbacca. This is the Candace Werewolf from the Hunted Forest, making my second, or its second, Fenimy, Fenimy Con debut. It's been a joy, just like last year. This year's Fenimy, you can consider me be, be bigger and better and more funner, more entertaining, more accelerating than last year. I, I have a really big question. I've seen you around the show all day. What is your costume made of? Cardboard. What? Cardboard. What? Cardboard. cardboard. He said what? Cardboard. cardboard. What? Cardboard. One more time. Cardboard. Hold on, I'm not getting it. What? Cardboard. Hard hard Cardboard. What? Cardboard. It's cardboard, Scott. It's oh. a cardboard box. Oh. Can't take you anywhere. Oh. Cardboard. 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 Yes, cardboard. Yes, cardboard. Yes. 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 Yay! Yay! Cardboard. 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 So Scott, would you make a Phantom A 2013? Oh, it was the most bizarre thing I've been to. I've done. I've gone to a lot of bizarre things in TFN. But you've never done it dressed like the, one of the California raisins. That's true. I've never done it dressed as a California raisin. I feel like this is a second skin to me now. I think I'm going to be hosting the show in this costume from now on. So thanks for that, Max. Well, it looks it looks very becoming on you. Oh, thank you. Uh, if you want to check out Max, you can check him out on Rev3Games, youtube.com slash Rev3Games, or on revision3.com under the game section. Until next time, I'm Scott Bromley saying I'm not going to come back next year. All of Les Mis is coming? No, just the just the ones who are illegal. <laughs> so you would say that right now you're on your own, standing here beside me, all alone. I wait for the rest of my fanime group till morning. I love my group. And when they're not here, there is darkness. And she is about to pin a pin on me because I'm a raisin <laughs> all alone. Yay. I owe what? In the convention center, the granite shines like silver. Come on, what's the next line? All alone. I wait for him till morning. What's happening? What's going on? The Putty Patrol. Look out, Scott. I love you. What's going on? Ah! Oh, there's putties. 